a really common question that I get from students often is how can they improve their reading score? And the simple answer is, of course, you have to learn vocabulary, grammar and practice questions. But if we try to be a little more specific about this issue and talk about what kind of questions you need to focus on and the questions that you should focus on to get higher score in reading are read aloud, fill in the blanks, and fill in the blanks reading and writing. If you think about the skills required to answer these questions, then for read aloud, you have to make sure that you know how to pronounce the commonly asked words in read aloud. Once you know those things, you also have to learn how to present uh, the answer. That means when you read a passage, you are pretending that you're talking about a small topic. And then when people actually talk about a topic, they have certain variation in their tone, certain variation in their speed. And those are the things you have to remember. Because if you start talking like you are reading something on a computer screen, you will not sound natural. And that's one thing, that's one mistake many people make. The second thing is, when you are answering the questions of fill in the blanks, you have to learn grammar. And there are so many topics in grammar. And if you want, you can learn all of them. But if you want to be specific, if you want to just focus on the important ones, then I suggest that at least learn about parts of speech, which means different kind of kinds of words we use in English, like nouns, adjectives, verbs, how they look, where they are used, in what order they are used in a sentence. Because this question is mainly about picking the word for the given context based on its position. And the next thing is for fill in the blanks reading and writing, you have to make sure that your vocabulary is strong. And you have to focus in two different lists here. One is the modified academic word list, which I prepared from the academic word list. So what I did was I combined the academic word list with the um, ver vocabularies that we often see in our PT exam. And the other list you have to go through is the collocation list prepared by Pearson, which has more than 2,200 combinations of different words. So if you have these basic skills, then you can learn how to use these skills to answer the questions. And that you can do by watching my videos on YouTube, by going to our BT preparation website where you can watch these videos. And if you still have confusion, then you can join our Facebook group where you can ask me questions and I'll try to answer those questions as well. So this is how you can improve your reading score.